Yeah, right. Okay. How you know? I, I will give you freedom to prove to us Islam to be a good religion or anything good about it or anything, whatever you want to talk about. Even the topic we'll talk about for the free. What do you want? You know, right now I am twenty-one years old, and okay. I've I've been a Muslim since I was a child. Okay. And I do not find that according to your topic, you said that God Allah is not God. And I do not find this all this time. What makes you think this way? How many proof do you have? Tell me by number how many of them have you got? Millions. As an example, the topic in front of us. Do you think God will promise you women would be blessed? I mean, is that God? Or this is a pimple or work in Las Vegas? If you are a person, who come into a society with my respect to your family, your parents, your mother, your sister, and then the person come to them and says, hey, listen, if you believe in me, my name is Muhammad, I'm prophet of a God, his name is Allah. If you believe in me, I will give you women with big breasts. What do you say to him? Mm, I never think that way. Well, we have to think, my friend, uh, you, are, you are a man, you are 21 years old, you are a man, you can get married, you have a family, your children will depend on you, so you have to make decisions. So we have to think, so when somebody speak to me in such a way, I have to ask myself, what kind of God is God? I mean, God will provide me and tell me women, they have big breasts. What does that mean? This is stupid. This is silly. This not even cannot be from God. You know, God is not, uh, uh, you know, this is something you see uh, uh, from a pimp, somebody trying to promote his prostitution business. Uh, hey, I have women who have big breasts come over, you know, join us. But this is kind of, doesn't work for, this is can't be God. This is how the devil works. The devil will come to you and says, "Hey, do you want to see naked women? Do you want to have naked women? All right? Do you want money? We have money. You want gold? We have gold. You want women who have virgins? Huh? So you will be the first, first customer. This is cannot be God." In my opinion about this, first, mm -hmm. it is just telling us that if you are mat mature already as a girl, mm -hmm. you will have full breasted. No, no, my friend. This is about and the promise. It doesn't, no, it doesn't my, matter, right? No, my friend. This is about the heaven. This is not about the women she will have. This is about in the heaven what the men will have, not the not the women. So, if you read with me, you know how to read English, right? Yeah. Okay. Of you course, can read I in your know. language if you want. No problem. Chapter seventy-eight, and we are reading from verse number. You can read any verse from before if you want. Talking about the paradise, verse number thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three etc so this is about what you will have in the paradise in the paradise you will have garden full of a graveyard and then in the top of that you have a lot of women who they are very young children but yet they have big boobs big breasts and they all of them they in one age and you will have a full cup of wine and so thank god it's not a half cup i mean what is that this is this is god Uh, you know, right? It's written in the Quran, and if it say like that, so probably, probably it will happen just as it is written. No problem. Let us say it's going to happen properly as it's written. This is stupid, because when you say to me, "I will give you a garden full of a grape," isn't it? This is stupid. I can go right now and buy a garden full of a grape, and then you says to me, "I will give you women have big." I mean, who are those women? Do you, with my respect to your wife, are you married? I'm not yet married. Okay. If you, if you, if you decide to marry a woman, do you like to know her, or you like to know her breast first? Uh, for me, my myself, in my opinion, if I choose someone to be my wife, hmm. of course I will accept her as she is. If okay. I love her, so, I love but, her. but you're a prophet here saying. He is not talking about the women with her name or what he is saying to you. Be happy. Those women, they have big boobs. Do you think this is... So imagine, imagine, with my respect to your parent, your mother, I'm not making the fun of them, but your mother, she come to you and she says, I will make you marry a woman she has big breast. Do you think this is, a, this is a smart talk? This is what people who they are mature say? Uh... You know, the first, it doesn't say like that. It says that. It says that those women are going to be supposedly your, uh, the, 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 the women you will sleep with. So you know nothing about them except they have big boobs. Read it. What Allah he said about them, read it. What they said, nothing. They have big boobs. They are young with big boobs. 
Uh, you you read the first number thir thirty three, right? You and can read. You can read from thirty one. You can read of e equal age. It, and what 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 big breast? It it is it is just a sentence who say and young full breasted mature maiden of okay. equal age. So, so it doesn't speak about the their breast. Does it speak about their breast? Yes or no? Yeah. Okay. What? Why I need to know the size of their breast? What that would do to me? What about you? Tell me who they are, and who who they will be for me. What about you? You know, you tell why you are telling me what what is important about their big breast? Why it's important for Allah to say that? This is the remember the one is talking is Allah, right? Yeah, if okay. Allah want, wants to give me a hmm. woman with a big breast, so hmm. let it be. I think it it's it's not a problem. Okay, it's not a problem, but you know nothing about them except women with big breasts. And right now, because you pick you remember a second ago, you said to me, Allah I will take her, accept her for she who she is. You. Okay, you said you will take her as who she is. Now you know nothing about them except they have a big breast. So what is that telling me? Who are those you know, women? I, I've been living in this world for 20, 21 years old. Hmm. And my family, all Muslims, hmm. you know, I live in Indonesia right now. Okay. And my my father and my father, hmm. they they live together and they live honestly. And my friend, I'm very happy. I'm ha I'm very happy to your parents. And my 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 parents, they live together all their life for tens of years, all right? And they never get divorced. Yeah. So this is I'm not talking about this. But okay, as long as you are talking about your family and etc. What if somebody he marry a woman and he like her? Should it we and and he was walking going home and then a guy come to him and says hey did you marry a widow woman or a virgin the guy he says a widow previously married the man he said to him why you don't marry a child so she can play with uh, you know it's it's a it's about the relationship i have a girlfriend right now and i love her hmm. and when the time i got uh Salary because right now I'm still in a university hmm. after I get a job she, uh, and I can well, give her a salary you, is, and is I okay will if just I marry you, her. I will ask you a personal question. Is she a virgin? Of course. Okay. What if she is not? You will marry her? What if she is previously uh, married? Know, what if she is previously married? She is a widow. You know, uh, I, I have come to a doctor to check her. And she is still virgin, and I don't have. So the doctor, what, what, you took her to the doctor to check if she is virgin, really? You did that. Yeah, we did that. So and she took off her panties. Also, we she took off her. She, what? What? She took off her panties. So the doctor, he can see. Of course, if not that way, it's impossible. What do you mean impossible? How? How you see? How the doctor he found out that she is a virgin? She he asked her to take off her panty. She opened her legs. He took a snapshot. He put it in the, the computer. What he did? Uh, it is like you don't have a girlfriend, and you never take her to the doctor to check the virginity. No, I will never do that to a woman I like and or love because this is insulting. That's mean. You know, what, what do you think? She is a goat. You are taking her to the doctor to see what is happening between her legs. This is what you do in Indonesia. So, this is my decision. So, okay, I will teach you. I will teach you a different way. So it's not embarrassing like this one before. This is this you know, is my okay, business. Let, okay, let me know? tell you. Let me tell you what you should do next time if you have a new girlfriend. Uh, let's talk about. Okay, let's, hold on. I'll just I will give you something. Topic, I'll give you advice. Next time, if you have a girlfriend, put a lot of shampoo in the shower top, and order her to sit in the shower top. If bubbles come out. That means she have a, you know she's leaking. Okay. Now let's go to the Quran, brother. Uh, what do you, you think, think about a God? What do you think about that? What do you think about God? Okay, as long as you are saying you want to see if she is a virgin, right? Okay. Why Muhammad? Why Muhammad? He taught you that women they have a sperm coming from their ribs. You go to school, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you think women they have sperm first? A woman? Um, I think no. No. But if Allah yeah. says that, that means Allah is a foolish God, no? Your microphone is not sounds good. That Can you speak louder? Good. Come on. I'm saying if Allah said that women, they have a sperm coming from their ribs. Where is, where is the sperm of the man coming from? Do you know? Our men, the sperm, you know, right? We have, we have a book and we have read it. 
Okay, let's take know, I've, I've witnessed my school. Of course, I know that. Okay, so from where they come from? It's okay. We're talking science now. Nothing, nothing wrong. So where the sperm of the man coming from? Oh, come on. Please don't talk about the sperm. Why not? The Quran speak about it. This is a shame. I, I am really curious about what makes you think that Allah is not God. Here we go. It's in front of us. Allah says that the man have a sperm coming from the backbone, but science says that the sperm coming from the balls. Allah says that women have a sperm coming from the location of the necklace, which means from her chest. But women, they have so no sperm. One of, them, huh? one of the reason. This is one of the reason that you have. There's millions. You are asking me. I'm showing you one by one. Should I show you all that a million, whatever? Okay. One this at is, a time. So yes, how 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 Allah way. how Allah can be God? How Allah can be God? But yet He says such a thing that women they have. And you know, if you want, we can show you like uh, scholars like Ibn Kathir. You know Ibn Kathir? Yeah. Of okay. course. Okay, Ibn Kathir, let us go to Ibn Kathir and see what Ibn Kathir says. If you don't like Ibn Kathir, we can go to the front one. This is Ibn Kathir. He says that women have a sperm coming from their ribs and men have a sperm coming from their back backbone. Now, if Allah is God, how Allah he says such a silly thing? What do you think? I'm just having a nice conversation with you. Okay, you tell me, you as a Muslim, reading this, that Allah is saying women have a sperm coming from their ribs and men have a me, sperm coming from his show backbone. Me the first it doesn't Here show full no it says pitch, you know it says read with me this is a big theory so let the man see from what he is created this is a, 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 a alerting what's on the man, screen first huh chapter on the screen chapter first. 86 verse number six and seven chapter 86 okay. verse number six and seven and here, Ibn Kathir, from what and here Ibn Kathir, created, this yeah. is alerting man yeah and here Ibn Kathir is, a, is, is, a, is a, explaining he is a created from water gushing forth meaning Sexual fluid that come brushed forth from the man and the women. Thus, the child is a proceeded from both of them by the permission of Allah. Then he continues saying, proceeding from the backbone and the ribs, meaning the backbone of the man and the ribs of the woman. Do you agree with that? Proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs. Mm. The backbone of the man and the ribs to the woman. So he's saying there's a gushing fluid, sexual gushing fluid, that will make the baby. Read the verse before it. It says here, it is sexual. Meaning the sexual fluid that's come bursting forth from the man and the women Does the child produce from both of them by the permission of Allah? Okay, that's wonderful. So it's a gushing fluid brust bursting out. Okay, this is the orgasm. And then it says proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs explaining Meaning the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women is Allah God or this is silly Okay, I will take note about this. Mm. What this guy behind you in the speaker saying? Do you know what he's saying? The backbone or loins of the man and the ribs of the woman. Mm. So they are talking about the sperm coming from the backbone of the man. Of the man. Yeah, but this is chipping. And the ribs. Men don't have a sperm coming from woman. the backbone. Bones are bones. Have nothing to do with the sperm. Okay. Okay, and women didn't have a sperm I will too. take this as number one. Okay. Of your reasoning that Allah is not God. So okay, but isn't it isn't it enough one? I mean, what next? Oh, no, no, hold on. We, we have millions, no problem. But isn't it enough if Allah is wrong about one? Isn't it enough to prove that Allah cannot be God? Because this is simple thing. This is not about philosophy, logic. It's it's just about a, a, a pure science. Where the sperm of the man came from? Where the sperm of the women came from? So what we would do now? Allah cannot be um, Allah cannot be wrong if Allah is God, correct? Do you agree with me? If Allah is God, He can't be wrong in this. But this is wrong. Uh, about this, this is hard to decide. You know, my friend, you are a, you are a, you are a mature man. You are a smart man. Not nothing hard. You see, our life, God, He gave you a brain. I believe in God like you. But there's no way that God he said that so don't me don't tell me it's a hard you know you have to make a hard decision in your life you make a decision when you get married you make a decision when you go to school you make a decision when you go to choose the work all of our life is about decision and this is about your where you want to go you want to you pray to a God who believe in this obviously it's says a false God this is God be God do you agree um, I, can you can you show me that Allah is the one who say this 
Yes, this is Quran, my friend. This is Quran. يَخْرُجُ مِنْ بَيْنِ الصُّلْبِ وَالتَّرَائِبِ Allah saying, not me. This is not my statement. This is not me. This is not you. Allah. The verse in front of you. وَهُوَ وَلَدِّ يَبْدَأُ بِالْخَلْقِ Okay. خُلِقَ مِنْ مَاءٍ دَافِقْ يَخْرُجُ مِنْ بَيْنِ الصُّلْبِ وَالتَّرَائِبِ Allah is saying that the scholars explain to you how it work. So what we will do now? Ah, uh, yeah, I can read that due to this. Allah says, hmm. "That's the word that I want to read." All right, I I take this as a mistake. It's a mistake. Thank you very much. Here you go, guys. See. This gentleman from Indonesia is a smart man. He don't accept stupidity. So this is a mistake. So do you think Allah will make a mistake? Such a mistake? If he is a true God? Huh? Allah will never make any mistake. Thank you very much. So who is the one who made the mistake here? If the Quran is the book of Allah, as Muhammad claimed, and this is a mistake, and you agree, and I agree, and I, I you know, I, I appreciate really your honesty. You are, you are, a, you are an honest man. And you say things as it is. That's wonderful. So now both of us, we agree this is a mistake. But this is Allah saying that. So Allah cannot be God. Show me what next. You I choose don't know okay, how much no. you learn. You see, just, to, sh just to show you. Okay. And I, I, you know, I like your, your uh, talking to you. You sound like a decent man. So I want you, what, what you heard from the Muslims about, uh, about Allah, how, how they prove to you Allah is God. You see, I don't want to show you things of my choice. You choose it, and I will show you that what the Muslims they say to you, it's absolutely false, and it is not only false, it's stupid. What to prove to us Allah is God in Islam? What is the proof? Uh, you know, when I read the Quran, hmm. it is written in the chapter 1, verse 1, in the name of Allah, the hmm. entirely merciful, the hmm. especially merciful. Hmm. And this is how Allah introduces himself, hmm. or praise you to Allah, okay. Lord of the hmm. world. All right, but don't you think this is chapter because look what the verse saying to us read with me carefully it says well, i think this is how allah introduces no 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 hold on let me let me explain to the you. existence of him how he say in the name of allah if he is allah because uh you know in english hmm. uh if in indonesia we have nya and in friend, english, this is, i'm not talking about indonesian like i'm that. talking this is arabic arabic is and i am an arab Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. How Allah says in the name of Allah, Rahman Ar Rahim. If the one is talking is Allah. Then how Allah He says, Alhamdulillahi Rabbul Alameen. Thanks to Allah, the Lord of the world. And then he repeat again, saying the same as he said just a second ago, Ar Rahman Ar Rahim. You just said Ar Rahman Ar Rahim. He just a second ago. You see, in Arabic, if a poet man he made repeat the same sentence twice in the whole poet, he gets zero. So how Allah he makes such a stupid mistake in Arabic? He said Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Okay, here we go ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. We got it. Then he repeat, and then he says Maliku yom ad din and then he says, "It is you, Allah, no, your, your worship." The microphone doesn't. I cannot hear your voice clearly here. Hmm. Do, you, do you hear me now? What happened? You don't hear what me happened? now. Your your microphone has got got a problem. I think. Guys, do you hear me in the chat? Let us see if. Uh, all right, this getting good. good. All right, okay. So, uh, uh, if you have many programs running, close them, please. So here, okay. How Allah He says to you. Obviously, the one who wrote this is not cannot be Allah saying that. This is somebody wrote a prayer, and he put it in the Quran. But cannot be Allah. If Allah is the one is talking, He will not say that. Right? Let me ask you. Here it says, as an example, uh, what's wrong with your microphone? It's not clear. Maybe, maybe your internet is weak, my friend. No, I pay internet so expensive here. Okay, everybody hear me in the chat, fine. I mean, I don't know why you don't hear me. Let me ask you. It says here, the way of you choose to bestow your grace on them. Sirat. Do you see the word Sirat? Do you know what Sirat means? Do you know this? Do you know what the word Sirat mean? Hello. Yeah, uh, you. I think your microphone have. Okay, a problem. let me call you back. Let me call you back. Hold on. Okay. Poor guy. Uh, 
Okay, you hear me better now? Yeah, I can yeah. hear you. Is that the speaker from the mosque? Uh, yes. See, they, My house they, they have to the force mosque. everybody to hear Quran. You like it, you don't like it, they have. Okay, they, okay. Now, do you see the word here? It says Sirat. Sirat. You don't speak Arabic, right? What Sirat mean? Do you know? The straight way, supposedly. The straight way. The, the way of guidance, correct? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, this is the verse. You can read the translation in your language. Do Allah follow Sirat too, or only Muslims follow Sirat? Yeah, what's what's the matter with that? Do Allah do Allah follow Sirat or only Muslim follow Sirat? Sirat supposedly according to Muslim is a bridge where people they walk in the top of it and some of them they go to hell, some of them they go to heaven, some of them their feet go to, to the fire, and this is what the Sirat. Sirat is a bridge go between uh, over over the hell, but it's going to go in the hell in the same time. So the Muslims who they are bad ones. They will go to, all of them they will go to hell actually but some they will be saved and go to heaven and some they will not be saved now do Allah walk in that bridge too you know I think you have problem with your internet connection you know my friend, because my friend everybody hear me very fine is it is, it, is YouTube is YouTube running from your side you know it's it is like your your voice is not clear for me here Hmm. I'm not using the chip internet, you know. Okay. It's but, ev speedy. but everybody hear me very fine in the in the in the chat. Yeah, sometimes it's clear, sometimes it's not. Okay, you know? no problem. So, uh, uh, I'm here saying I will repeat again. Sirat. Hmm. Do Allah fear of Sirat? The bridge. Allah, do Allah walk in this bridge too? Go. He might go to hell. The Sirat is a bridge between Earth. And heaven, but it goes through the hell. Do Allah walk in that bridge too? Do Allah follow the straight way? Uh, it is written in the first right, guide us to the straight way. Hmm. Okay. It, so it do, means... do Allah Himself He need guidance to the straight way? Do Allah need to follow the straight way? Allah, of yeah. course, He always. He fo no, He follow the straight follow? way. He follow or you Allah he follow who? Uh, this it is written that guide us to the straight way, right? Yes, guide us to the straight way. But do Allah need to be guided to the straight way too? You you know right. Uh, no one can be counselor for Allah. Thank you very much. So okay, except so, himself. Except himself. So, All right. Okay. So Allah. Uh, it means Allah uh -huh. guide himself. Okay. Allah guide himself. So Allah... Because he is his own counselor. He is his own counselor. Okay. Now, yeah. but uh, the question is, do Allah need to walk in that way to be saved? Because this Salat is a bridge where people either go to hell or go to heaven to be saved. So the one who follow the straight way is the one who will be saved. Yeah, I think Allah... Always pick the straight way. Hmm. So, so Allah, Allah, uh, Allah, Allah, Allah follow guidance of who? When Allah he Allah pick up, huh? Must uh, Allah must never wrong. I just showed you Allah. He's saying the sperm of the women coming from their ribs, and the sperm of the man coming from the backbone. And you are the one who said this is wrong. Uh, you know, there's a hmm. possibility. It is like, uh, you know, the Quran. Uh, the way it's written because the people uh, see their environment and the people around them and okay the one my who friend, my friend my friend do Allah follow a guide way do Allah follow somebody you said to me Sirat is you following the the counselor which is Allah Allah is Allah is his own counselor right okay yes so Allah do so Allah he, he do Allah himself. okay that's do, the point all right all right, do Allah, do Allah follow a straight way himself, which means he is following somebody else because this is a sirat which is made by somebody for you. It's not following somebody else. Hmm. But in the Quran it says Allah he follow. If you go to chapter uh, 11, verse number 56, it says, Inna Rabbi ala siratin mustaqim. My Lord is in the straight path. Why there is other bath for Allah? Can Allah be misguided? 
Look, I think uh, I take this first as true. Okay, no problem. It's you know, number uh, six, uh, right? Uh, maybe Get this one is complicated for way. you because you don't know Arabic. I want you to tell me something. You said to me the Fatiha is is how Allah introduced Himself, correct? Did you say that? Yeah. Okay, but this is yeah, not the yeah. first chapter Muhammad he received. The first chapter, this is the last chapter actually. This, uh, uh, I mean, this is one of the, uh, not in the beginning. Uh, Allah, when he introduced himself to Muhammad, he spoke to him in the chapter 96 in the Quran, correct? Uh, show me the first. This is chapter number, number 96. This is the first chapter Muhammad he received. Read with me. How Allah introduced himself. He says, read in the name of your Lord. Is that correct? Iqra. Chapter of the clot, 96. This is how Allah introduced himself. Do you agree with this? Written in the name of the Lord who has created all that exists, has created man from a clot of... Okay. Did, of the did the man he created from a dead blood? Is a human being created from dead blood? With the blood mm. red, and your Lord is the most generous yeah but is the man created from a dead blood because congeal blood is a dead blood is the man created from dead blood do you agree with that in my opinion if it is written this way so it should be this way but it's not it's not there's no actually dead blood it's dead blood that's it that means it's dead and if a human being have dead blood this is what people could say he have heart attack because you have a clot in your bloodstream will block your heart that's it you, are, you die from little tiny dead blood so since when the human being is made from dead blood what your prophet how your prophet explained that in different verse in the Quran Muhammad he said and let us go there we made notfa into a clot and it's into a congeal blood. Do you see it? A piece of thick congeal uh, uh, blood. Okay. How how we are not far, and then we are made blood, which is a dead blood. If you don't like this translation, we can change it. Here we go. We can go to Yusuf Ali, very famous Muslim translator. Okay. okay. Try to go there. Okay. Read it. Then we made the sperm. Hmm? We made. First of all, we made a drop. We made you from a drop of a sperm. All right? Okay. But a human being is not made from a drop of a sperm. One semen. Sperm have millions of it. Sperm is a sexual liquid. Then he says, and we made the sperm into a clot. All the sperm transform into dead blood. How that can be? How Allah can be God, yet he says some such a silly stuff. Why the sound is going loud? What happened? This guy, what happened to him? He ate some zucchini. Uh, you know, your voice is not clear here. Can, is, is your window open? Can you close the window? Because this guy's sound is coming very strong. All right. Pro probably it's my connection, you know. Hmm, no problem. But do you see here? It says Allah, he, he made this into a congealed dead blood. Do you think this is true? You said you went to school, right? Ah. Okay. Does that does the school teach you that, or this is stupid? Uh, I don't think so. You don't think what? We made the sperm into a blood. Yeah, this is wrong. There's no scientist in the world says that the sperm will transform into a blood in any stage. So you wear a sperm, and the second stage, all of the sperm became blood. Who is the stupid scientist? He says that nobody. So how this is can be God? Hmm. Hmm. It is hard to explain. It's not hard. It's stupid. You are the one who agree I'll, with me. I remember? will talk about this with my teacher. Hmm? I, I, I already make the note about number one and I will take this as number two because... Okay. Have you ever heard cannot, Muslim speaking about... I cannot explain. Lane no problem, my this. friend. So, but this is obviously this is wrong. Forget about this. Have you ever heard of Muslims speaking about science in the Quran? Mm. Mm. 
you know, in in my mosque, uh, my teacher hmm. uh, usually talk about our daily life and a little bit about the Quran. Hmm. And most of the time, we just read about what's written in the Quran. Hmm. All right, I will. I'll better ask to my teacher about this one, and I will try to discuss with him. Okay, uh, I don't know what's your name, but what about you invite your teacher to debate me? What do you think? Uh, he doesn't speak English. Oh, okay. All right. Well, maybe you can find somebody who speaks English. What do you think? Someone All right, who I will to be take, a teacher. I will, know, take as, yeah. I will take this as number two, okay? Okay. Now, I'm asking you, how, you didn't hear before Muslims saying that Quran is full of science and scientists discover science in the Quran? I'm sure you heard that before, right? Yeah, I watched that in YouTube sometimes. All right. Which one you think it's amazing of those uh, scientists stuff? Which one of them was like, wow, I mean, the Quran is amazing, brother. Which one of them? Uh, you make me uh, trying to recall my memory, you know. Yeah, why not? And we have memory. You have memory, I have one. Uh, all right. Uh, the point I call you is because mm -hmm. I want to know how much you learn about that Allah cannot be God. I just told you. I mean, everything 